Got a real quick video right here. Oh. I ground up 15 pounds of deer meat. I cut all the fat. I was going to try to do a video on it. But I got too carried away. It's Christmas time. And, you know, we was, I was trying to fry turkey and do a video on that. And I was working on this, too. So, But, anyhow, what I did is I took uh, 15 pounds of deer meat. And I cut all the fat off of it. As much as I could get. Run it through my grinder. And put it in this big pot right here. And mixed in... Now, I know a lot of people's got their homemade recipes, and that's the way I grew up doing it was homemade recipes. But I went ahead and just got this right here because it was simpler at the time. It was easier. I already had the curing salt and everything in it. I didn't have to worry about it because I was giving it out as gifts. I didn't want a chance that somebody leave it out or whatever, not put it in the refrigerator. So I wanted it to be cured and preserved and all that right there. I didn't want to get nobody sick. So I just went ahead and went with that right there. Now, they've got a bunch of different kinds. Super simple to make. Grind it up, put it in that big bowl, mix it up real, really super good. And you can make it as thick as you want to with this gun right here. Or you can make it as thin as you want. The thicker you go with it, and I'm gonna tell you what I did, the thicker you go with it, the longer it's gonna to take to, to dehydrate. So what I started doing on the bottom racks right there, you know, on the bottom, they're going to dry out a lot faster than the top ones, so I made the bottom ones thicker than I did the top ones, if that makes any sense. Or if you want to go all thin with it, or all thick, then just rotate the shelves, you know, the, the racks every now and then, and put the bottom rack on the top, and just, you know, swap them out. But that's what I that's what I did. I just started going thicker on the bottom, and then a little bit thinner on the top, and that way I could just walk off and leave this, you know, having so much to do. But uh, four hours about four hours and it's ready it's cured it's ready vacuum seal it up or ziplock bags or whatever you want to do but you throw that right there i throw that in my, my work truck and i'll throw that in my hunting truck and uh, have plenty to snack on you know if you get a little hunger or something like that that in a bottle of water and you're good to go because let me tell you there is 15 pounds of meat and i give it out for christmas presents too so 15 pounds of meat and then this little bad boy right here takes a little, you know, it takes a second because it's like, I probably ran, I don't know, maybe five, five batches through that dehydrator to get the 15 pounds going. Cause I mean, this, this big old pot right here, I mean, was, you know, half full. 15 pounds is a lot of jerky. But now this thing right here, you can do the slice jerky or whatever, but the ground, these tough deer we've got down here in Alabama, it's it's easier to just grind them because if you if you cut it with the grain down here, then oh you could probably recap a, a tractor tire with it. I mean they're super tough, super tough. But the little gun that Can Cooker uh, sent me worked out really good too. I mean it's nice. This is the first time I've ever done it where you run it through a grinder, grind it, and then you know oh, mix it and dehydrate it. But I like it a lot better then uh, you know it's it's not super tough now if we were killing a deer out west or kansas or kentucky or something like that where it was grain fed you know it would be a different story but these down here you know we eating briars and pine cones and I, I mean they just it's a lot different these deer down here are tough so this is the best way i found to do it for for southern deer and let me tell you it is fine everybody even after christmas dinner yesterday People opened up their packs and started eating that right there. And I'm talking about everybody was full as a tick. So, hey, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Maybe I helped y'all out. Y'all give it a shot. Ain't much to it, I know, but there it is. Hey, y'all have a good one. Appreciate y'all.